Hi, I'm Kaggle Data Scientist Rachel, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your GCP account and connect a BigQuery account to Kaggle. Um, so there's a whole tutorial uh, and more information here in this blog post. Kaggle Kernels Notebooks now offers BigQuery. Um, and I'm just going to be walking through the steps that you need to do to um, either start querying your own data or have write access. And you do need the write access if you want to use BigQuery machine learning because that requires write access. So I'm going to start by uh, going to my GCP cloud platform. Here we go, it's thinking. Uh, and here I want to start a new project. So you can see I have some projects that I created earlier, but I want to start a new one. And let's call it um, Kaggle BQ Test. All right, uh, and you can see here that we have this project ID. And I'm actually going to see if they'll let me just have Kaggle BQ test. Nope, cannot have it. Somebody else has already used that. Uh, so we'll we'll generate one. Oh, I don't like that one at all. Uh, and the reason that I worry I, I want to have one is because we are going to use it to um, refer to our project where uh, our data is stored and where we'll be able to save models later on. So you want to make sure that you have this. I'm actually going to copy this right now. Um, you know what this is. You don't have to memorize it, but you have to know where it is. All right, so we're creating uh, a project. You can see I also did create a project a little while ago just to make sure everything would work out. Uh, and once our project is created, which is going to take just a second, we're going to want to go to BigQuery. Uh, and I'm just going to use the little, little platform here. Go into BigQuery. Um, and you can see to view this page, select a project. So I want to add BigQuery to this uh, Kaggle BQ test project. And you can see here that it says sandbox. So I don't have billing set up right now. I've deleted all my, whoop, I deleted all my billing accounts and um, don't have any credit cards associated with my GCP account right now. Uh, so you do not need a credit card in order to do this. Um, so now we've added BigQuery to this project. We can actually um, query it directly from Kaggle kernels, and we can also um, add data to it from Kaggle kernels. So I'm really quickly going to go over how to do that. Um, and so I have BigQuery enabled here. By default, you're going to be using Kaggle's free tier. Uh, and I have earlier um, uh, connected it to my uh, GCP account. Um, and to do that, you would select this button and then there's a little um, series of uh, a sign in that you just do. Uh, and then here's the information that you would need uh, to create a client for your specific project. Uh, so that looks done. I'm going to say done. Uh, and here, remember I said we needed our project ID? I want to put my project ID in here and this will let me create a um, uh, it will let me create a client that connects me to my specific project that I created using my account. Uh, and if you want more information on that, you can check out the first day of the SQL Summer Camp. We talk a lot about the BigQuery client there. Uh, and now I'm going to create a small array and save it as a CSV. Uh, and I'm going to create a new data set. Um, so you can see that this data set reference, it's in the Kaggle BQ test 248917 project. This is going to be different for your project because it's going to be what's ever up here. And then I called it new data set. Uh, and here I'm going to create a new table in that data set. Uh, and I'm using an F string here. So instead of having to retype my project ID, I am just using the um, uh, the project ID that I defined once up here. And again, you can see that I tried it again. I tried it previously with a different data set. Uh, and when I try it with a new project, I'm going to see that I have my new project ID here. Uh, and here's how you would actually upload your CSV file to uh, BigQuery. So here we have uh, some variables that I've defined so I don't have to retype them. This is actually the path to the file. If we look in our current directory, um, you can see that the file foo.csv is in the same directory as we're in currently. Uh, and then this is the name of the data set that I set up here and the name of the table that I set up here. Uh, and this is just telling the client everything it needs to know in order to upload the data set. And then here uh, we're actually doing the uploading 
And when that's done, we will print out some information that says how many rows have been added to our data set. And it should be three because this array that we made has one, two, three columns and one, two, three rows in it. And here we go. And it's going to take a little bit uh, and then it's done. So we've created a new data set. Um, and if I run this right now, I'm going to get an error because right here I'm using the old data set project name. So instead of copying and pasting, I'm just going to, uh, I believe it was project ID, uh, no ID. There we go. And, uh, did I do that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, and I do need to say that it is an F string and I think this should work. Yeah, okay, um, so I'm selecting everything from this table, which you probably don't wanna do unless you know how big the table is. And in this case, it is very small, so I'm not that worried. And then if I look at my data set, you can see that I have three rows, three columns. The first row is one, two, three. The first row is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is data that actually now lives on BigQuery and that I could um, use for any work on BigQuery. And if you wanted to upload your own CSV files, this is how you would do it. Uh, and this, um, this blog post, well, the blog post that we were looking at and also this notebook will be linked in the video description. So have fun and I will see you guys on Kaggle. Thanks for joining me. Bye.